Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Football Betting Series here on YouTube Premier League Edition. Last week, the first week of the season, we started off in promising fashion with seven wins, two draws, and two pushes to our name for a total profit in week one of £77.60. and pence. If anyone's confused on what a push is, once a bet starts to win, like with this intergame, for example, I then take out my liability by buying some insurance. Uh, normally, I would back into to win and then lay it off shortly after. And this method has proved to be very fruitful throughout the years. Uh, for example, in this game in particular, Genoa scoring right at the end of the match could have lost us £40. Instead, we didn't win and didn't lose. And that's what I call a push. So hopefully that's clarified things. Week two of the Premier League is just about to begin. And I've got three bets in today's episode. So if you think I'm talking some sense, please drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel for more content. Without further ado, let's get into the picks. Our first pick sees Crystal Palace play host to West Ham. And Crystal Palace, they lost their last match away to Brentford. Despite having the ball for large portions of the game, two of the goals came against the run of play, and a bit of indecisiveness from Palace in the final third really did cost the Eagles. Although Palace may have won a single point from this match if it wasn't for a somewhat controversial decision to disallow Eze's free kick for the opening goal of the game. This result ended a six-game unbeaten streak for Crystal Palace at the end of last season, a record which stands since early April following their 4-2 loss to Manchester City. They play a West Ham side who also suffered defeat in their opener against Aston Villa. They fell behind after just four minutes thanks to Ornana's powerful header off a corner. Paqueta equalised from the penalty spot, but Villa went on to win courtesy of Duran's 79th minute strike. West Ham did have a tough pre-season, winning just one of their five pre-season games. And it's hard to know what we're going to get from West Ham this season. And they're going to be integrating the new signings of Nick Fulkrug, Max Kilman, and Somerville from Leeds. It might take a minute or two for them to find their feet and get familiar with one another, but I think West Ham have the core of a decent side, which could finish mid-table or even push for those European spots. When we look at the head-to-head -head records, these sides played each other in the summer. Crystal Palace ran out 3-1 winners in that one, and looking further back, Palace are unbeaten in each of the last four competitive encounters as well. There's fair value here in playing West Ham for this one, however, I'm feeling goals a little bit more. When we look at Crystal Palace, they saw over two and a half goals in each of their final three Premier League games last season, as well as the opening game of this season. Last year, Crystal Palace saw over two and a half goals in 63% of their home games and an average of 3.3 goals per game in those matches. The away side West Ham, they saw over two and a half goals in their final five Premier League games last year, as well as the opener for this season. They also topped the league for over two and a half goals in the away games. 84% of the matches saw at least three goals scored with an average of 3.95 goals per game. When we look at the head-to-head -head record, the preseason game saw four goals in Palace's 3-1 win, but also looking further back, each of the last seven and nine of the last ten encounters have seen at least three goals scored, with an average of 4.1 goals scored in the game. Both of these sides have a great individual and combined record, so it's a bit of a no-brainer for me. Over two and a half goals is great value at about four to five, so I'm taking over two and a half goals for a full stake in our first bet of the episode. Our second selection also takes place in the three o'clock kickoffs. Manchester City play host to Ipswich Town. And Manchester City, they beat Chelsea away from home in their opening game by two goals to nil. It was a calm and measured performance on the ball from City, but there were a few defensive frailties and Chelsea failed to take advantage. However, a win's a win. Man City are unbeaten in their first two games of the season, the game against Chelsea and the game against Manchester United in the Community Shield. Ipswich Town returns to Premier League for the first time in 22 long years and were handed a very difficult game against Liverpool in their opener. Despite holding the Reds off in the first half, as the game stretched on, Liverpool made their class show, Mo Salah scoring and assisting to make the difference in a 2-0 win for the Scousers. Ipswich Town have been struggling for goals recently, which is a bit of a surprise when we consider that the Tractor Boys were the top scorers in last year's championship season. So far this summer, McKenna's side have only scored only one goal against Shakhtar Donetsk, Hoffenheim, Fortuna and Nice, and obviously failed to score against Liverpool in the opener. This will be an issue as Manchester City are no stranger to racking up the goals themselves. When we look at the head-to-head -head record, well, these sides have not faced off since 2001. Ipswich Town picked up a 2-1 win, which saw Man City relegated at the end of the season, but I don't think that has too much bearing on the game in 2024. Despite my best wishes for this game as an Ipswich Town fan, I honestly can't see anything other than a Man City win at the Etihad. With Town struggling to find the back of the net in pre-season and against Liverpool too, 
I'm expecting Man City to win by some margin. Manchester City are very short in the outright winning market. So I'm going to be taking them at minus one and a half on the Asian handicap line, which means in order to cash this bet, we need Manchester City to win by two clear goals. One goal win for City, a draw or a defeat. We'll lose our full stake of £40, but I do feel confident in this one. Man City minus one and a half on the Asian handicap for a full stake. Our third selection sees Bournemouth play host to Newcastle. And Chris Wood handed Forrest the lead in their opening game of the season at home to Bournemouth before Semyeno's 86th minute equaliser saw both sides share the points. Form-wise, Bournemouth lost each of their last three games at the end of last season once they had secured safety. And it was this poor run of form which carried in over to the pre-season. Bournemouth picking up draws against Wrexham and Arsenal before going on to pick up back-to-back -back wins against Spanish sides Vallecano and Girona. The away side Newcastle, well, their fans were fearing the worst when Fabian Schaal was sent off for a head-to-head -head contact against Southampton in their opening game. Despite going down to 10 men early on, the Magpies actually took the lead through Joe Linton just ahead of the half-time interval. In the second half, Newcastle withstood a lot of pressure to hold out for a massive three points to get their campaign off to the right start. Newcastle ended the season with a mixed bag of form with one win, one draw and one loss in their final three games. And it could be argued that this stumble at a costly time is what cost them a higher place finish, the Mad Pies ending the season in seventh. When we look at the head-to-head -head record, the last game finished 2-2 between these sides. Newcastle managed to salvage a point thanks to Matt Ritchie's 92nd minute penalty. But it's Bournemouth who are unbeaten against Newcastle across the last two seasons or the last four league games, with Newcastle's only saving grace in this period being a 1-0 win in the EFL Cup. Despite a good record for Bournemouth, I think that Newcastle will still consider themselves to be the stronger side here. However, with the opening day results and the recent head-to-head -head record in mind, I will refrain from backing the tune outright. Dan Burns' suspension also means that there will be some changes to the back line to be made, which could cause some issues. With this in mind, I'll opt to lay Bournemouth here or double chance Newcastle, depending on your bookmaker, just for a bit of extra safety here. And I'll be doing that for a full stake in bet number three. So there we have it. Three selections in today's episode, starting off with the 3 p.m. kickoffs. Crystal Palace and West Ham over two and a half goals, odds of 1.82, a £40 stake to return 32.80. Elsewhere at the same time, Man City play host to Ipswich. Man City minus one and a half on the Asian handicap line at odds of 1.34, a £40 stake to return, £13.60. And, and on the Sunday, Bournemouth Newcastle, we're going to be laying the home sides at odds of around one to two, a £40 stake to return, 19 in kind. So across the weekend, we're going to be risking £120 to hopefully pick up as much as £65 and 40 pence. Will we do so? Well, there's only one way to find out, and that's just tune into the next episode. But if you have made it to this point in the episode, please drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel for more content. And as always, have yourself a lovely day.